Hey buddy, and this is John, and today we're going to be constructing a money-based video game. Um, so you've seen these around the Android and around the web-based um, HTML gaming platforms. You, you buy, uh, so we say, a lemonade stand. You then build up your money, and then you buy an ice cream stand, and you move to Paperboy or a paper stand, and so on and so forth. It's basically building a company, and then uh, building it, buying another one, building it, you know, just like incurring more money. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be building this type of video game, and today we're gonna be doing an introduction video to get you intro uh, introduced into this, the basic principles. And then the next video, we're going to basically just finish it all up. So hopefully you enjoy this video. So uh, let's get started. So overall, I have some basic uh, sprites that I have taken from the internet. And then I've added a whole bunch of these texts right next to them. These texts right next to them actually are um, what represents the money. So right here. So to the uh, left, we have basically how many of them we have. So all of these so these three here these four and then these two right here to the left of the icons always represent how many of that entity we own we could own a thousand uh, lemonade stains we can own you know a hundred million um oil wells which is right over here and you know we could own one car company okay so all the text to the right represent um basically how much that is making us per um so we say every turn or every so many seconds so it could lead up to be either being literally an entire day or just a couple of minutes to just literally a couple of seconds when you buy so many of them you're literally just making so much money and then over here on top we have what well, uh the overall cash money and that's actually the name of this uh text it's how much we are worth all together now when we buy or click on an icon we're literally buying another you know company or build setting up one and it's gonna cost us so for example uh, I in this introduction video I've set up the lemonade stand code and when we click on it it's gonna cost us ten dollars to set up a lemonade stand so you can the lemons the water the um, or just buying the lemonade itself and the cups and selling it back to people and then after so many minutes in a video game which is supposed to represent so much time in the real world you make money so in the code we're going to need two global variables so one is going to be called lemonade store how many we have and a global another one a uh, global number saying overall money okay so on start of layout we're going to set our overall money to ten dollars so this could be our life savings or just ten bucks that mom gave you to set up this little uh, side road little adventure and then we're gonna set the text to overall money and this would be the overall money text then uh, below this um, the add the uh, comment box is lemonade business is going to be on top of the lemonade icon we want to add one lemonade store to the um, to our global variable so it says okay we have one of those so every time we text on the um, every time we tap on this icon and we have um, let's see either greater than or equal to ten dollars we have to have ten dollars to buy uh, uh, you know to set up a lemonade store uh, then we can actually buy a lemonade store then we can set the text to lemonade store uh, for the text box and then in the system we can subtract 10 from overall money so our variable lemonade uh, or overall money it was worth ten dollars when we started now it's not and then we have to wait for us every couple of you know minutes seconds or whatever for us to basically make our money back and then we set that to its text okay and so every uh this is just for an example i actually had it set for 60 and i may change that later as we go on but every one second um and as long as we have a lemonade store that is greater or equal to one, so we have to have 
a at least one limited store to make money. Um, our system, uh, basically it's overall money is 10. So we're going to make $10 times lemonade store. And this is actually um, supposed to represent, you go into system and you click on lemonade store. It's basically, we're going to make $10 times however lemonade stores we have. And we're going to set that to overall money. So if we click run layout, and it's going to load up in a little bit. Okay, so we don't have any stores. We don't own anything. I have one store. Boom. Every one second, I'm making four. There's 40, 50, 60, making uh, there's almost $100 right there. And then after that, I can say, hey, I want to uh, set up an ice cream, um, you know, route. Click that. That may be $50. So uh, that's the intro into it. So on start, we're going to set our overall money to uh, $10. Set that to the text box. Again, on the same thing, tap on the uh, lemonade picture. We're going to say, OK, do we have $10? Yes, we do have $10. We're going to um, add one to lemonade store um, variable so that, OK, you do have ten dollars. We're gonna add one to the variable, so you have one store. We're gonna set that to the text uh, called, you know, lemonade. Uh, st set that to the text right next to it. Says, okay, you do have one, so it's shop number. And then we're gonna subtract ten dollars from overall money for expenses uh, that cost you, and then the overall uh, money is going to subtract ten there. And then every one second, every one second, and if we have at least one store, we're going to add 10 times however many stores we have to equal the overall money. And then we're going to set that to the text. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. That's what you do for the rest of these. We're going to include uh, a time variable probably. And the rest of the tutorial is saying, hey, if you have like more stores, you should be making more money quicker. Um, so when you have so many, you're literally just coming in, raking in the cash every um, couple seconds. But it may cost you more with some of these other companies. Uh, if you want to keep buying them, it may cost you more and more and more to actually get them. All right, so hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this intro video. The next video will be all of the rest of the icons and that should be done pretty quickly and i'll see you guys in the next video remember to like comment and subscribe and uh comment down below what else you would like to see and if you have any questions for me or uh and for this tutorial specifically i'll see you guys next time